Legends Punisher is back for its second season, and let's face it, probably his final season as well. I mean, come on, we're all thinking it. But with Punisher being back, we have the return of one of his signature villains, Billy Russo, aka Jigsaw. In today's video, we're going to outline the history of Jigsaw. One thing that we're going to be doing in this episode and in future episodes is that I'm going to be including annotations, so if you would like to read more, you'll know exactly where to find these stories. Jigsaw made his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 161. Russo was the favorite assassin of the Magia crime family as well as the go-to assassin in the Costa crime family, two families who have been featured primarily in Spider-Man and Punisher comics. Billy was nicknamed the Butte because of his vanity and good looks, and for those of you who are fond of the Thomas Jane Punisher films, think of the character Bobby Saint, uh, Howard Saint's younger son in there. He's very similar to the character of Jigsaw before you know, the jigsawing. Billy was a particularly ruthless hitman. He was the best and was often dispatched to kill people when other hitmen failed. After the death of Frank's family and Frank becoming the Punisher, Billy and Frank had their first meeting. Billy had been dispatched to kill a random assassin that crime boss Frank Costa had sent to kill Frank and anybody connected to Frank. Billy killed everybody except for Frank with Frank narrowly escaping after a bomb was detonated in his home. Frank tracked Billy to one of the family nightclubs, and he threw Billy's bitch ass through a plate glass window, which tore his face to shreds, thus creating Jigsaw. Surgeons attempted to fix the damage for the vein assassin, but the resulting plastic surgery left Billy's face looking like a Jigsaw puzzle. Billy adopted the mantle of Jigsaw and quickly returned to a life of crime. His first act as Jigsaw is the attempted framing of Punisher for murder, but the plan fails when one of the murders is actually witnessed by Spider-Man. In this issue, Spider-Man is actually teamed up with Nightcrawler as one of the people who's murdered by Jigsaw is a friend of Nightcrawler's. Jigsaw later faces Spider-Man again after the pressure from his first failure gets to him and he attempts a heist on a ferry boat, but in a classic comic book move, who happens to be on that boat? Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Jigsaw come to blows, and Jigsaw manages to capture Harry Osborn and Liz Allen. Jigsaw escapes, Spider-Man tracks him down, and the encounter ends when Jigsaw can't bring himself to shoot Peter. During the first Punisher miniseries, it's revealed that Jigsaw was actually behind a plan to drug the Punisher and cause him to behave erratically and start attacking criminals for minor stuff like jaywalking and littering. The Punisher eventually confronted him and kicked his ass, and he also stopped Jigsaw from escaping in a prison riot later in the series. Jigsaw was then brainwashed by the Trust. The Trust is a coalition of people, of influencers within the Marvel Universe, who kind of appreciate and wish to use Punisher-style methods of killing people to influence criminal behavior. The Trust is made up of politicians, movie stars, ex-military advisors, and a wide variety of basically movers and shakers. Jigsaw is kidnapped and brainwashed into serving as an assassin in a Punisher-style extermination squad. After this Punisher extermination squad is dispatched to uh, dispatch Frank Castle, Jigsaw snaps out of it when he confronts Punisher, but, you know, again, gets the old Frank Castle hands. Then Billy kind of falls in with an even worse crowd. He starts hanging out with this demon worshiper named the Rev. The Rev convinces Jigsaw to work for him after demonstrating a number of smaller healing miracles. The Rev convinces Jigsaw to work for him in exchange for healing Jigsaw's broken face. The Rev breaks Jigsaw out of prison and has Jigsaw supervise the importation of a serility-inducing drug that the Rev intends to test in New York City. When the drug shipment is destroyed by the Punisher, Jigsaw tries to have the Punisher killed via the old street gang attack. Jigsaw and the Rev flee to Venezuela, and then the Rev does, in fact, heal Jigsaw's face, but, uh, Jigsaw gets shot and killed by the Punisher. Rip. Just kidding, because the Rev then resurrects Jigsaw, so that later in the battle in the jungle, Jigsaw can get his face destroyed again by the Punisher, in possibly the biggest dick move of all time. After the Punisher is arrested, he fakes his own execution. Jigsaw dons the Punisher's outfit and starts executing everybody connected to the Punisher's sentence and execution for denying him the right to kill Castle himself. Jigsaw's next seen attempting to run guns in New York. Jigsaw attempts to negotiate with Daredevil, who has declared himself the new kingpin of New York City. 
Jigsaw and his men attempt to come after Matt in his own home. He can't turn into Daredevil fast enough, so Matt has to let the police and Black Widow break up the home invasion. Jigsaw is subsequently remanded to the RAF, the floating prison in the middle of the ocean where he attempts to break out during the Great Electro RAF Destruction Breakout of 2004. I don't actually know what the name of that event is, but Electro tries to destroy the raft and Jigsaw tries to break out. Next, Jigsaw, wearing an inverted Punisher costume, attempts to brainwash a New York City cop into becoming the next Punisher. The plan goes off without a hitch, if you consider without a hitch to be the cop losing his mind and trying to kill everybody, including Jigsaw. After the Battle of Brooklyn Bridge, Jigsaw is again imprisoned, but the young cop that Jigsaw had brainwashed shoots Billy, and he presumably dies. But he doesn't, because this is comics. Jigsaw next partners up with a man who has a similar disformity, Stuart Clark. Together, the Jigsaw brothers hire Lady Gorgon to impersonate Maria Castle while they manipulate Henry, the Punisher's ally and Jigsaw's son. The goal is to manipulate Henry into helping them capture and kill the Punisher. Jigsaw eventually betrays and kills Clark and battles the Punisher on top of his own burning headquarters, only to fall through the roof of the building into the fire below, presumably dying again but not because comics. Jigsaw has had a number of minor appearances since then, but nothing too major. This seems to encapsulate the vast majority of the large events that he participates in in the comics. That is about it for this video, but I hope you learned a lot about Jigsaw. He's a pretty interesting character and one of the Punisher's oldest rogues. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give us a like and, you know, subscribe if you feel like it. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm not your parents. This has been Nick for Key Issues, and you know the motto, comics over everything.